in today's video i did put up a, in a poll a thing on my snapchat and my instagram of assumptions but people were asking questions as well so i'm just gonna an like answer them because they asked them in the thing i put up so it's not much of a assumptions video it is but it has questions in it as well so yeah let's get into it anyway so yeah so i just have a list of questions here and i'm gonna answer them so the first question is what was my favorite subject in skill i have one of two favorite subjects in skill it was either english or home ec i just really like those two subjects not for any particular reason i just liked going to them like going into the class like i didn't not want to go into the class but like i just like being there and then the subject was just easy enough as well and then what was my least favorite subject in skill and anyone who knows me knows what the answer to this question is because it is my most hated subject throughout skill I've only been doing it like two years, but no, I absolutely hate it. But that subject is accounting. Then this was a really weird question I got. My thoughts on an open relationship and I can't say, it, but it's like polygamy or something. I don't actually know what it is, but if I'm not saying that right, correct me because I just haven't a clue. I've never heard that in my life. But with open relationships, you do you don't let anyone stop you but like i wouldn't i wouldn't be into having an open relationship like no but if you're into that then that's what you're into i suppose am i more like my dad or my mom well i don't know like both like there's not really one that i'm more so like like i'd be like my mom but also like my dad like i look like i look like like some people say when sometimes i look at them i look like my dad and then some people say i look like my mom so like i don't know but i have like i think i have my dad's like personality and my dad's traits where i have my mom's attitude so yeah then the next question is what would i not tolerate in a relationship now in i the one thing i do not like i literally hate in any relationship like not just my relationships any relationships relationships is liars like people that just lie to people like i don't like them and then people that cheat like that just does my head in and then like not so like the ones that they're like everything about me basically like there's like relationships are two ways not just one way then i have then the next question is i'm sorry would i rather live in a big city or on a farm now i've lived in dublin all my life so probably in a big city like but i would like it like to live in the country like not the country as such but like near the country like swords like not swords like you know like the places that look like the country but they're not actually in the country country then it's do i believe in afterlife like life after death Um, yeah i actually do believe in life after death because of personal experience that's happened to me like after certain people in my family have died like stuff that resembles them has basically happened since like after they've died but i'm not gonna get into it like i might get into it in another like another video like make a like make do a video on it and explain it more but yeah like if anyone wants me to do a video like that because i know a few people actually know the stories of them so if you want me to do a video on them just comment below and i know before everyone goes like your comments don't work i have great hope for this video for the comments working then the next question is do i believe on life on other planet on other planets um I don't actually know what that question is supposed to mean. Like, do I believe in life on Mars and do I believe in life on the moon? No, I don't. That's the answer. Then the next question is, what are three things that I would want to take with me on this stranded island? Okay. 
So my number one that I would take with me on a stranded island is spray. Like any sort of pure fuel spray, deodorant, not much deodorant, body spray, just any spray because anyone who knows me knows I have an obsession with spray myself and that would be one thing. And the next thing would have to be probably my next thing would probably be my eyebrow pencil. I am not living without that. And then the third thing would have to be a hairbrush. I'm forever brushing my hair. Like, I hate having night hair. Like, I might brush my hair about five times. Not even five times a day more. Just five times a day. Then, the next question. I don't actually know why someone asked this. How was your Halloween last year? Halloween was great last year. I went to my friend Jack's house last year. Oh, I know why people have asked this, actually. I went to my friend Jack's house last year. Um, he had a party. We both dressed up as leopards. Um, yeah, it was fun. Then the next question is, how do people tell that I'm having a bad day? Well, usually people tell. Like my mom will tell because I like from being in the house from having a bad day. I usually just get up at my room go walk the dog somewhere and I come back like three hours later or I watch Netflix or watch YouTube or something like that or just go out with my friends so like they usually know like from my attitude like how my day has gone now the next question is now if you have me on Instagram or Snapchat or you grew up with me you'd know what this question means Right, a few people actually asked this. Why pasta and milk? I don't know. Comment, actually comment below if you've ever had pasta, and milk and sugar added in it as well. I have i don't know who was supposed to give it to me, but I've been having that since I was younger and it's actually one of the nicest things I've ever had in my life. Like, people were like, look, like, not looking at me, like, asked me what was going on and all, like, for me eating that, like, the other messages I got when I put that up. But yeah, it's... If you haven't tried it, just try it. Like, don't, what's that saying? Don't. Don't, yeah, don't mock before I try it. Am I a creative person? Depends. Like, doing art, drawing? No. But, like, putting outfits together putting rooms together like putting colours together and stuff yeah then I, I am like that the next is what was my favourite movie as a child my favourite movie as a child was like it still is my favourite movie like it hasn't changed is Matilda I don't know why but I have an obsession with Matilda I just really like it and my favourite character in Matilda isn't actually Matilda herself it's um Lavender I don't know why, I just always like having that, and then Amanda Tripp as well, I really like her, but it's never, like it hasn't been Matilda. And the next one is kind of the same, it's what's my favourite TV, what was my favourite TV show as a child? My favourite TV show as a child, oh I actually don't really know, um, between t- it was, it's actually between two I think, Jesse and Good Luck Charlie, I used to always watch them, and then if anyone remember that program, what was it on? I think it was on Disney Channel, where Sunny, I think it's called Sunny with a Chance. That one as well was a good one. Then the next question was, what decade has the best style? Now, it's I've got two decades. The nineties had I like the nineties style. Like I wear like I wear nineties style sometimes, but the one that had the best style, I actually think. I could be saying this wrong, but the uh, like all like the great Gatsby stuff and all that, like I really like that, like sort of like era of a style, like if you want to put it like that. Then the next question is my first memory. I actually my first memory that I can remember like properly was my first birthday actually. I just remember what happened, like who was there how my day went like it's it's such a strange memory to actually remember but yeah that's my first memory the next question is i don't actually know 
I think I could have answered this in my first video. I'm not sure, but it's what is my middle name? My middle name is Bernadette and my whole name is Cheyenne Bernadette Grace Kenan Hearns. I have a double vowel name if people like for the people that didn't know that. But yeah, that's what my name is. The next question is what did it take for me to become the person I am today? In I don't actually know what sort of sense sorry, I keep doing that because my necklace is huge on me. I don't actually know what sort of sense people mean by that, but I'm gonna say in both senses. If people mean growing up, who made me the person like what like did it take to make me the person I am today? I really look like my I really looked up to my two nannies, like my two nannies are my mum and my dad and my stepmom I really looked up to when I was growing up, like and then my aunties and uncles, like I really looked up to like like looked up to the older people in my family, like I like not done what they done, like I just what's the word? Admired what they done, like but more so my mum's mum. My mum's for anyone that like doesn't know my mum's mum actually passed away last year but what she left behind in me is literally like the amount of people that tell me you're just like your nanny you're like I get told that at least once a day like I take in like I take her like I don't know what they're called like the way she just goes about life but yeah and then if you mean like what like to the person I am to do YouTube to do like stuff on Instagram and stuff um just from watching like, like I've watched Saffron Barker since I was younger she just like I'm like thinking to myself she's like the around the same age as me like if, I, if she can do that I can do that like and then Amy Johnson as well like I've been watching her since I was younger and then Anastasia Kings North as well I've been watching all of M3 since I was younger so <clears throat> that's what kind of on the YouTube on that side of it but yeah, um, then the next question is, sorry, I've just got a lot of questions here. What do I like about my family most? Um, the thing I like about my family most is how supportive they are with things I want to do. Like if I was to come up with something crazy, the lights just up and you're going fine. But yeah, sorry, if I come up with something crazy, um, they're always like behind me on like, the idea like they never shut the idea down like if they don't like if they think the idea is a bit like far-fetched they'll be like thinking of other ways around it like they won't just say it. but sometimes like they would actually go no try and like don't do that but yet they've always been behind me on anything i do they always give me the support i need like of anyone and bleh. if anyone didn't know this i have got a few things wrong with me like I have ADD, uh, ASD, dyspraxia, dyslexia, dyscalculia, I have a few things wrong with me and if anyone actually wants me to go into a video on them I will just text me, not text me, comment below or I will leave a poll on my Instagram at some point over the next few weeks but yeah they just support me with that because like I don't let that stop me so like they're like why should I actually to just go and do what I want to do like they've always been behind me with that like what other people that has the same kind of things wrong with me I think their parents actually stopped them from like achieving what they want like basically like I've if I set a goal they will help me and encourage me to get to that goal where I want to be and then the next thing is next next thing next question is am I an independent person sometimes yeah i would be an independent person actually yeah like independent means doing something wrong yeah i would be who was my favorite oh what was my favorite character as a child no how would i describe my character as a child sorry um i don't know probably outgoing oh spontaneous i was a very spontaneous child then the next questions are um i think i missed a question let's see no i didn't how to deal with heartbreak 
that's the next question. Um, just like, like the best thing people told me to do was just build a bridge, get over it, and just thank yourself, lucky. Because I've always been told that I'm getting rela- not relationships as such, like, like friends, relationships, relationships with anyone, like. If they just live, it's a good class as a good thing because if they open, I think if, if they open leave, they're never going to stay. They were never going to, they hadn't got ten, intentions of staying there in the first place. So don't be like thinking you're the bad one, basically. It's like, yeah, I've actually, like, to count it as a blessing, basically. Then the next question is my top three TV shows. Um, I don't really watch TV like TV programs. I watch Netflix, but my top three Netflix programs will have to be Riverdale, Gossip Girl, and Never Have I Ever. That's the three. My three favorite actors. My three favorite actors are. I don't actually think I have three fully favourite. I think one, I don't know what one you class and what one you class as, but one is Danny DeVito. He plays a few key players, it's someone in It's Always Sunny, and then he plays the dad in Matilda as well. Then Olivia Newton John, she plays Sandy in Greece. <clears throat> and then um, Adam, Adam Sandler as well, that would be the three. Then the next question is, do I want to be famous someday? Um, no. No, I don't. Yeah, no, I don't. Like, just putting into all that fame, no. The next question is, most important thing in a relationship? The most important thing, I think, in a relationship is... Rust. Hang on, sorry, sorry. Ink. Okay. Okay. That part. Anyways, sorry, the most important part in a relationship is trust because um, if you don't have trust in a relationship, then where's it going to go? Like, if you're not going to trust like the person you're with or like anything like that, then there's no point actually being in a relationship with them. That's what I think the most important part is. Um, The song that describes my day. Hmm. The song that actually describes my day today is Ella Henderson Friends because I'm seeing my best friends later on for a sleepover. Well, sleepover, drink. But yeah, um the next question was my daily routine. <clears throat> Mostly my daily routine is I wake up I watch an episode of whatever I'm watching in bed for maybe just that, I just watch the episode. I get up, I have my breakfast, I come back in, I'll make my bed, I'll get dressed, get ready for the day and go out if I have to go out. Like if anyone wants to actually see a daily routine, a night routine or anything like that, I will. I'm going to start doing more videos like that. Then the next question is, do I like roller coasters? Yeah, I like I love all the crowds, but the funny thing is I don't like heights. Like I don't like planes. I don't like being up on high buildings or anything like that. The next question is what makes me feel good about myself? Um, I don't know. I actually don't know the answer to that. And these questions, these the next like set is um assumptions. The first one is you're from a different country. No. My mom's from Ireland, my dad's from Ireland. So no, not from a different country. 
The next question is, you're younger than 18. No. I went 18 last October gone, and then I'm 19 in October coming, like, no. Then the next one is, you and Jack kissed. Yeah, like, be kissed, but not, like, on the lips, like, no. Like, what? Who even said that, like? Oh, I don't know. You regret friendships slash relationships. Um, not really friendships, like, I wouldn't really regret friendship, but relationships, yeah, I do regret someone. Not, like, someone, but, like, one or two of them. Then, the next one is, uh, I don't know, this is not really an assumption. The next few are not really assumptions. Uh, is, are nice boys purposely left as a second option? No, nice boys aren't purposely left as the second option. Girls just tend to, like, not see the good in nice boys because they're always so hurt with, like, the bad boys as such, like, I don't know how you explain it, like, you want to explain it. Then, the next one is, do you want kids? Yeah, in the future I do, but I wouldn't see myself wanting them before, like, at the minute, like, before I'm 30, like, Maybe after I'm 25, like, I still have to go to college, I still have a life to, like, live, so now I'm not anytime soon. Then the next one is, how long does it take me to get ready? Well, it depends. Sometimes three hours, sometimes an hour, sometimes half the day. It all depends. Would I ever take back someone who cheated on me? No. Girls out there, if you ever take someone back who's cheated on you, then you're guaranteed they're going to be cheated on again because they've done it once, they're going to do it twice, no one changes. What, cheer, what cheers me up? Um, I don't know, my friends and my family probably cheer me up the most. Then, then I'd like the next one. If I had a warning sign, what would I say? My warning sign would, would be beware. Like, be aware, like, dangerous, caution. Like, because I'm dangerous sometimes. And the next one will be... The next one actually makes me laugh. Because I yesterday I was actually watching um, Madagascar. And I thought a giraffe was a kangaroo. So it says, if I had a giraffe and I needed to hide it somewhere, where would I hide it? Why would I want a giraffe? Like, what? No, I don't want a giraffe. And I'm not going to need to hide a giraffe anytime soon. So that's a bit irrelevant. And there goes the lamp again. I don't even know if I'm going to leave these mistakes in this video because... It might actually because it's... No one's perfect, so... What's the silliest thing that I've convinced someone to do? Well... I don't actually know. Because I've... My friends will probably say I've convinced them to do the most strangest of things sometimes. That it's just not even funny anymore. So yeah, um, the next question is my most embarrassing childhood story. Um, I don't actually know. I don't know. Then it's what odd smell do I enjoy smelling? Um, I don't know. People are probably gonna laugh. People are gonna be like, "What the hell?" But. The odd smell I like is the frankincense that they put over like the coffins in the church in the little like metal thing. Then the one is the next question is is there one colour clothes that I really seem to have in my wardrobe? Um yeah, my mum would say yeah that it's black. But I think it's like not a colour but like I have so much in gear, but the colour would have to be black. The next question is can boys and girls be friends? I think so, yeah. Like, I don't, like, I don't have problem a problem with boys being friends with girls, like, if I was with, like, the boy. Like, yeah, be friends with the girls, but, like, I trust them, like, they have to have trust in them. Like, if you don't have trust, then I don't think a relationship's gonna get far, if I'm quite honest. Most complicated, the next question is, the most complicated thing I have tried to cook? I don't know. Oh. 
it's not complicated. But not Mother's Day gone, the Mother's Day before that I tried to cook my mum um fried egg. And I ended up with like three scars there. I don't know if you can see them. Like three scars three scars gone down there. Because they did oil popping up on me. But yeah, I can't cook. The next question is what's the farthest distance I've travelled on a plane? And that is the Florida. I think Florida is eight hours, eight or nine hours. Then the last question is, do I collect anything? I love collecting hair bands. I collect hand sanitizers and sprays. Like I love the Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers. I've loaded them. And then I think that's it. But yeah, that's the end of that video. And I will. Me and Jack are going to be posting two videos on Sunday. Um, we were going to do a Never Have I Ever and a Boy Ask Girl questions, but. The amount of times that another gay best friend video has been requested, so we're going to, like, they've been requested lots, so we're going to actually do that. But yeah, um, as I said, I might leave in my mistakes in this video because nobody is perfect and I just want to show people that side of things, so I think I will leave them in. But yeah, and then if you have any ideas on videos you want me to do, just pop me a comment down below or I'll leave my Instagram down below as well and I'll leave my TikTok down below but I got to leave my TikTok there so you can follow that. But yeah, thanks for watching and I will try and post more from next week onwards. I've really important um things happening this week and I'll try to do vlogs with them. So yeah, it's not really important things but really exciting things happening this weekend. So I will do a vlog with that because it's important to me and yeah, thanks for watching.